and welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will discuss about ISLM equation. We have made two more videos before that. So if you haven't seen those videos, you should watch these videos because we have explained theoretically and the graphically IS and LM curves separately. And this is the third video in that series where you will get to know how we can solve the equations. So let's begin with the simple equation. Now, first of all, what is IS and what is LM we need to understand? IS represents the investment saving. That is what we call the commodity market or the goods market. LM is the money market, liquidity and money. So IS, the equilibrium position is Y is equals to C plus I. And for LM, it is equals to money supply is equals to money demand. This is the equilibrium position. Now, if you remember the Keynesian theory that we had discussed in previous few videos, where I've explained that there are three types of demand for money under Keynesian model. One is transactional demand, second precautionary, and the third one is speculative demand for money. Now here, this MD, we can split into various types. So we can say that they have explained in the Keynesian model or Keynesian economist that MT plus MZ, okay. Now here I'm taking Z because we have already taken S for money supply. So here money for transactional motive as well as precautionary motive, we have clubbed into one because precautionary motive is very rare. So MT is for transaction and precautionary. And MZ is a speculative demand for money, okay. So MS is equals to MT. Now this is the equilibrium position. Now if we get the equation certain things like this, in the examination, any computer examination you are giving, any semester exam you are giving related to economics, this is a very common question. So we'll see how we can solve it, how we can tackle it. These are the values will be given in the question, okay? So what we'll do, we'll try to substitute these values into the equilibrium position, okay? So let's begin. Let's begin with the commodity market where I can say y is equals to c plus i. Now, if we have y is equals to c plus i, what we'll do in place of c, we'll write the full equation and in place of i, we'll write this equation. So, y is equals to 102 plus 0 0.7y, then there's a plus c plus i, so c we have written here, value of c, then i, 150 minus 100i. Okay, this is the equation for commodity market. Now what we'll do, we'll try to solve it. This y will take left hand side. So y minus 0.7y, which is equals to 102 plus 150 minus 100i. Okay, now if you solve this, this is simple. One y, y means one y. So one minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3y. And this 102 plus 150, and as 10 to 150 is 252 minus 100i, okay? Now, what we can do, we can take everything on the left hand side and equate to zero. So what I'll write here, you'll write I, 0.3y, which is equal 0.3y, write it here, 0.3y plus 100i, because this minus will come here, then minus 252, which is equals to zero. Okay, so this is the equation that we got. We can name it as equation number one. Okay, I hope this is clear. So here I'll write in short, because I need a space to solve this. Okay, this is the equation number one. Now what we'll do, we'll try to find out the equilibrium equation for LM curve, okay. So LM equation, it means money supply is equals to money demand and money demand includes two things, MT plus MZ, okay. Now here we have the values, MS money supply, so I'll write here 300, okay, which is equals to MT plus MZ, so 0.25Y, 0.25Y, okay, plus 124, and, uh, and minus 200i. Okay, I'll write this 4 properly. It doesn't look like y. And here also 4. Okay, now what we can do? We can solve this. So if you are solving this 0 0.25, we can take on the left hand side and everything on the 0 on the right hand side. Okay, so I'll write 0 0.25y. Uh, then we have this 124 and 300. 
So I can say it is uh, 200i, I'll write as it is. And then I will write plus 124 and, uh, or 176, you can say. I'll just deduct this. So 300 minus 124. Was the 124 come on the left hand side? 300 minus 124 is 176. And then I can put it is equal to zero. This is the equation number two. Okay. Now we have this equation number two and equation number one. This is equation number one we have taken. Now what we need to do? We have to equate elimination method and we'll try to equate these two equations in order to find the value of y and the value of i. Okay, so I'll do this. I'll write the same thing here. So 0.3y minus 100i minus 252 is equals to zero. Okay, so these are the two equation. Now in elimination method, what we do, we try to eliminate one variable. So here I can say eliminating i is very easy. So what I'll do is the equation number one, whole equation will be multiplied by two. Okay, so will be multiplied by two. It means if I can write here, 0 0.3, so multiplied by 2, 0 0.6y minus 100i multiplied by 2, so 200i and a minus 252, I can say 504 is equals to 0. And this equation I'll write as it is, so 0.25y minus 200i, okay, and plus 176. This is plus here, okay. Now I'll rub this. Now I'll do the elimination. So here we can say this will be cancelled out. 0 0.6 and 25. So 60 plus 25, 0 0.85 of y. And, and this is plus plus minus. So here I can say it will be uh, 680. So it will be minus 680, which is equals to 0. Now 680 will go there, so I can say y is equals to 680 divided by 0 0.85. So 0 0.85 divided by this, this will go, so it will be like y is equals to 800. Okay, so we ha you have the value of y, that is 800. So when you have the value of y, now you can put this value of y into any of these equation and it'll be able to find i. So here I can write, I'll just rub this to make space. So value of y that we are able to find out is 800. Now we need to find the value of i. Okay, so anyone we can say 0 0.25 in place of y, I'll write 800 because this is what we found. And a minus 200i plus 176 is equals to 0. Okay. Now here you can say 0 0.25, it means one means one-fourth of it. So this is 200. This is 176. So I can say it's 24. And a minus 200. So I can say this is minus 200i. And, and this is plus this 276, so it will be remain as 24, which is equals to zero. So I can say i is equals to 24 divided by 200. Now this i is equals to minus 24, then minus, so minus minus will be plus. It means you can say uh, 24 and 200, so it will be easily 12. So I can say it's 0 0.12. So the value of i is 0 0.12. Here I can say, this is the interest rate. 12 means, that is 12% is the interest rate. Okay, now you have the value of y and you have the value of i. Now you put this value, y here, you will get the value of consumption. No, no. Then you put the value of i here, you will get the value of i. Same line, ms. If you add these two, you will get 300 because ms is equals to md and md is these two. 
So I hope you got the answer, how we can solve it. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe Ecoholics. If you want to join any classes of economics, we are providing all the courses under one umbrella, starting from Indian Economic Services, Economics Optional for UPSC, RBI Grade B, DEPR Examination, UGC Net Economics, Gate Economics, MA Entrance Examination for Delhi School of Economics, JNU and all other institutes. For more information, you can visit the link given in the description. If you have any doubt regarding this lecture, any equation or any question you have, you can directly WhatsApp uh, or send a WhatsApp message to me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.